Hello everyone. Over here we have a Simplex 4100U. Got this programmed and it's all normal. We have a little system connected to it. So the 4100U was introduced in the early 2000s. It replaced the 4100 Plus. It introduced a whole new operator interface, a different bay design, some new cards, and power supply. It also revised some older components like the voice evac system. Now it had a bunch of new cards on it, but pretty much every card that was on the Plus and the Classic, like zone cards and stuff, were all compatible on this system too, which made retrofits very easy. So this demo system includes both fire and security. So let's start the fire alarm portion. We have a 2099-9754 pulse station, a 2099-9138 pulse station, 498-9601 smoke detector, and a 498-9613 heat detector. And these are all conventional. The signal is a 4906-9133 chime strobe. Now for the security portion, we have a blue point pole station right here, and two ZAM modules. This one is a 4090-9008 relay ZAM. And nothing's really connected to it, it's just there for show. And the other one is a 4090-9007 signal ZAM, and that is powering this system sensor MA horn set to the warble tone, and it only sounds for security alarms. Then we also have a 4603-9101 annunciator. So let's put the system in a walk test, test all these conventional points, and then we'll set the system off in full alarm, and also test the security system. Go into the menu. Okay, this heat detector only activates with actual heat. There's no magnet test. So we'll test that in full alarm. Yeah, I don't think it'll be alarm, it'll be fine. Now we'll just wait. Alright, system's back to normal. So let's activate the heat detector. We have audible silence. There we go. All right, now we'll do the security portion. like that real fast because that's actually really loud all right okay so quick story about this 4100u in its original configuration it was used uh, to monitor a VESDA interface and it was tied to a main demo FCI final panel it's pretty interesting it wasn't really a big panel either it's probably one or two bays at most it only had eight points on the SLC loop which is not a lot for these panels. So this panel is running version 12.08, which is the latest version for this particular CPU. 
There's another CPU card that looks a lot like the 4100ES CPU with the flash memory chip installed, and those could be upgraded to an ES. Uh, these cannot. These will require a full CPU card upgrade. So let's open this up. Here's what the inside of one of these panels looks like. This right here is the system power supply or the SPS. It provides power to all these cards. It also includes a single ID net loop, three signal circuits, aux power relay, and a slot for an optional city or DAT card. Now on here, this card right here, this is the CPU card. Next to it, this is a 4120 network card, which is not being used right now. And then these two cards on the left here, these are the old style zone cards that the 4100 Plus and Classic used. The U is backwards compatible with most of the Plus and Classic cards. So in addition to those, the U also introduced a new type of flat module card that will go on a PDI or power distribution interface board. And those would include stuff like IDNet cards and several other components. Of course, this is only a single bay 4100U, but if there are any more bays, there could be a voice bay or just holds more cards on it. Yeah. Um, so getting this pad program was a bit of a hassle. Um, apparently 4100Us are pretty infamous for being very picky with downloads. So just to get this job on this panel, I had to upgrade the firmware. There was only a few versions back, but I had to upgrade the firmware. And then I had to time the download just right so that the PC could connect to the panel and download the job to it. It's one of the many quirky things with these 4100Us. The ES and the Plus are not like them. That they're a lot, they're a lot more reliable. But the U is just a bit different, like that. So yeah, I think that's about it for the 4100U. It's a pretty nice panel. Uh, these will be discontinued in 2010 when the 4100ES be released. Speaking of which, I have one sitting right there. But even then, these are pretty cool. I would hope to get a single bay cabinet for one of these at some point, but those are very, very rare. But hopefully next time this ends up in a video, it'll actually be in the cabinet. So I think that's about it. If you have any questions or comments about 4100U, feel free to post them below. But until next time, this has been the 4100U. Have a nice day.